everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be reviewing two LA girl holiday kits I got mine at CVS um, I'm sure you could get them either online or Walgreens or whatever but both of them are ten dollars so I reviewed them and did kind of a <laughs> a first impressions for you guys um, I've never used LA girl before so this was the first time um, I really liked it so kind of a spoiler alert there but um, I created this makeup look here so if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and yeah if you want to see how to get this makeup look using affordable inexpensive LA girl makeup from the holiday kits then let's just go ahead and get started so as you guys can kind of tell I have already prepped my skin for a foundation or with foundation and so I am just going to go ahead in with um, the cream products that I have. So the two things that I wanted to show you guys in this video is LA Girls came out with um, two holiday kits that I saw that I really liked. So the first one is the Best of Eyes and it has this um, eye palette right here which I'm going to use in today's tutorial and it looks just really promising. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I also have this mascara that I'm going to try out. It's the Double Drama, Double D. And then um, I also have this LA Girl eyeliner as well. And so that's what comes in one kit. And then the other kit, you get the Best of Face Pro Conceal. And you get four little minis of their um, pro concealer right here and so you get porcelain creamy beige then you get the contour and toast and then you also get a color correct that's orange so you get that in one kit and they're both ten dollars so that I, I thought they were a really great value i have personally never tried la Girl, girls bef la girl before so i definitely wanted to give it a try on camera as a first impression and I'm getting ready for date night with my fiance, so <laughs> should be interesting. So it comes with an applicator that looks like this. I'm sure you guys are like already familiar. And so I am just going to apply that underneath my eyes and wherever I would normally, and I'm taking the shade porcelain, and wherever I would normally highlight or conceal. going to take my Real Technique sponge and blend that all out. Actually take my bigger one for I don't want to So my beloved camera decided to die on me because I'm I'm the one that forgot it forgot it. I'm the one that forgot to charge it before I started filming. So I went ahead and just blended out the rest of the concealer that I put on and um, just set it with my air spun powder per usual. Um, I will say, and I'll zoom you guys in really quick for this. So I will say that if you can see here, I mean, it did blend very well. Um, I did notice a little cakiness around my um, my nose, but I was able to kind of blend that out a little bit. Um, but Otherwise, I mean, it looks and it sets really well. I am really surprised by it. I've never used this brand of concealer before. I've heard a lot of people that love it. I've just never particularly used it. So I think that it it's pretty good if you ask me. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and jump into contouring. So I'm going to take the Pro Conceal the um contour shade in the in the shade toast definitely be a lot lighter hand with this than i was with the um, concealer note to self this shoots out like freaking cannon so i'm just gonna go ahead and cream contour i'm not typically one who likes to cream contour i will be honest with that gonna go 
in with my Eco Tools sponge and just start blending that out. Okay, so for that, I will say I do like it. I think that it blended out really nicely. Um, as you guys could see in the clip, kind of me going back and forth between my EcoTool sponge and my Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. Um, this was definitely a lot more handy for like my jawline for sure and like the top of my forehead. Um, my cheeks, you know, I will say go light handed. I think I went a little bit too heavy handed with that um product so I will say go light-handed but otherwise like I think that it really blended out very nicely and I really do like it um it kind of ended up bronzing me as well so I'm not mad about that so I'm just gonna go ahead and once again um I'm going to take my airspun loose powder and I'm gonna take my Real Techniques um powder brush and I'm just gonna kind of set the rest of my face with that <laughs> Alright, now that everything is set and ready to go, um, we will move on to our, I'm just making sure that I got everything, um, we'll go ahead and move on to the eyes. Um, so, as far as the pro concealers in, um, for like under the eyes and highlighting and the contour shade, I do give them a thumbs up. I think that they're fantastic. So I would definitely say give them a try. They are inexpensive. I do feel as though like when I got, you guys saw close up on the concealer, I would say that it is kind of like a fuller coverage concealer. Just maybe be mindful. It is very thick and for me, it's really hydrating. So I have really dry skin. So that works for me. Um, I, like I said, I'm going out on a date night. Um, I might if I can charge my camera in time because it's 5 o'clock now. We're leaving at 6.45. So if I can charge my camera, I might try and do like a um, like a check-in. Or I might just check in at the end of the night so that you guys can kind of see how it wore. Because I know my sharp, my sharp, my tart shape tape wears for a really long time. Like I can get 12 hour wear out of that. So um, maybe I'll do a check-in with you guys not making any promises. <laughs> so um, the next thing, like I said, is this LA Girl Eye Lux Mesmerizing um, Eye Palette right here. Um, I have swatched it and I will say the colors look very promising. I mean, that is like a gorgeous shade right there. Um, let's see, the brown one right here. I mean, hello pigmentation. So that they're both really pigmenting colors um I mean it's still sitting on my finger um so I'm just gonna kind of do a really uh, makeup wipe makeup wipe oh I have a towel okay Whew. I have a white shirt can't be messing around with that you know oh man I got the I wiped off the concealer excess on my hand oh, oh struggles okay so I am just going to take my morphe m501 brush you guys are familiar and i am just going to go in with this lightest shade right here in the palette and i'm just going to kind of put that all over my lid and we will just move along like so um okay tapping off any excess of course <laughs> And then next, I'm going to take the Morphe M441 brush, looks just like this, and I'm going to take the lighter shade right here within this little palette, and I'm going to put that in the crease and use that as my, transi my transition shade. Kind of tap off the excess. Not really, oh, girl, that's pigmented. Yeah, that's definitely pigmented, that's for sure. Kind of. Yeah, that's really pretty though. And I mean, you got this for 10 bucks with the mascara and the eyeliner. So, it's not that bad, if you think about it.
The dog's in the room, sorry if you hear some rustling around. Okay, so that's really gorgeous, I love that. And then I'm gonna take the Morphe M33 brush. It looks like this, it's a little bit shorter and a little bit more fat and dense. And I am going to take the darkest shade in the quad, I guess you would call it. And I'm going to just put that straight in the crease and kind of towards the outer V and deep in the crease a little bit. We don't need much of this shade. And then I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M441 brush and again this um, kind of neutral shade that we use and I'm just going to kind of blend everything together so that we don't have any harsh, harsh lines. And then I'm going to take my flat brush, the Morphe M224 brush, and I'm going to take this shimmer shade right here, and I'm going to put that all over the lid of my eyes. We're going to see how it goes just by itself. Actually, I'm going to try with my finger first. We'll see how that goes. Oh, yeah. Try and always use my finger if I can with shades like this. Just gets the most payoff most of the time. All right, and for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take that transition shade again, and I'm just gonna bring that down into the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take that darker shade right on top. And I'm going to keep that. I'm only going to bring that about halfway. And I'm going to take another brush and just smudge that all out. Like so. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. All right, and now that the eyes are all done, I'm going to go ahead and hop off camera, put on some lashes, and then, actually, what am I doing? I have mascara, so I need to use that. The wand actually looks pretty nice. My first impression off the bat is that this is definitely just for lengthening. This is not volumizing by any means. Yeah, this is just a simple lengthening. All right, so now that I have that on now, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off and I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts on these two LA Girl um, holiday sets. So I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. So this is the final look that I have for this makeup tutorial with reviewing the um, LA Girls, why do I keep calling it girls? LA Girl, um, the little quad palette here. Again, I'll just show you guys one last time. Um, I wonder if it has a name. Um, Eternalize looks to be the name of this one. 
that comes in that holiday um, gift set. Um, so all I did really for the rest of my face is I didn't put um, any like liner on the top. I just put some false lashes. And um, I did line my waterline with the um, eyeliner that um, came with the kit. It seems okay. It's not really like super dark black. It's, it's okay. It wouldn't be my favorite. It wouldn't be my go-to. But to be in the kit, it's okay. Um, also, the mascara... Meh. it's okay for 10 bucks though I would get it just for this because this is fantastic the shadows blended very well um they're pigmented as you guys can see I mean they worked lovely I, I love this I'll be using this probably more often than not this year so um my lip color is the Kathleen Lights and Colourpop collaboration with the shade Alyssa um and then as far as the concealers and contour shade I really like these as well so I mean in my opinion LA girl is definitely a thumbs up that's the first time I've ever used the brand and I absolutely love it um I just put some butter bronzer and then um a highlight on my face and that was really it you guys I mean I really loved the stuff that I tried I was kind of skeptical because of the price you know you never know what you're gonna get in those holiday kits but um I mean for 20 bucks for two kits thumbs up. I would recommend it. So that is all that I have for this makeup review slash tutorial slash first impressions, kind of everything all in one. So if you guys liked this video, please be sure to get a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Alrighty guys, so this is going to be my one and only check-in and my final check-in so um sorry about the lighting it's literally um it is mm, let me put it back on the other screen yeah it is 12.02 in the morning so we just got back from the movies and we went and saw the orient express it was really good I definitely recommend it but as you guys can see I mean the lighting let me try and get underneath my lamp a little bit more so like the concealer did pretty well and the eyeshadow is still on and rocking so I definitely was sorry that's like my bed squeaking um and you know Miss Fang back there kitty hi oh boy <laughs> But, um, so I would definitely give this, like, Ellie Girl stuff a go. I really liked it. My lip is definitely off by now, um, after we went to dinner. It was just, a, um, a lip cream, so it's not meant to stay on, you know, but, um, yeah, so this is my final check-in, my one and only, like I said, so I'm just going to turn off the camera, take off these lashes, take off my makeup, and... I'm so tired. I'm a, a 9 p.m., 10 p.m. at the very latest for bed. So this is like way past my bedtime. So yeah, that is my final thoughts. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.